Hey everyone, in this video we have a differential equation, uh, y prime plus 2x y squared equals 0. So this is a nonlinear differential equation because of the y squared. And we're told that a one parameter family of solutions, so family of solutions, is given by y equals 1 over x squared plus c. Okay, And the questions are to find the solutions, or find the solution rather, that passes through the given point, so through the given point, and find the interval of definition, the interval of definition. Okay, so part A, let's go through this very carefully. This is a really key example. Um, so maybe the solution passes through 0, negative 1. So again, the question is to find the solution that passes through this, through this point and find the interval of definition. So solution. So in this case, x is 0 and y is negative 1. So x is 0 and y is negative 1. So all we have to do is we have to find c. So we're going to put the negative 1 where the y is, right here. And that's equal to 1 over 0 squared plus c. Right? We're just putting the 0 here where the x is. So that means that we have negative 1 equals 1 over c. To solve this for c, you just multiply by c. So you get negative c equals 1, so c is equal to negative 1. We're almost there. All we have to do is plug the c back into our one parameter family. So we get y equals 1 over x squared minus 1. So that is the solution to the DE that passes through this point. You can think of this as an initial condition. This is y of 0 equals negative 1. Okay, so now we just have to find the interval of definition. So to do that, what you can do is you can graph this. You can graph this solution, or graph this function, rather. So how do you graph this function? Well, skill. <laughs> so this function has two vertical asymptotes. I'll be brief. Uh, one and negative one. So there's one. And then here's negative one. So this is one, and this is negative one. And um, it has a horizontal asymptote at 0. That's because the degree in the denominator is bigger than the degree in the numerator. So it has a horizontal asymptote at 0. And if you plug in 0, you get negative 1. In other words, it passes through 0, comma, negative 1. So it looks something like this. And it looks something like this. You can use your calculator too. It's pretty easy to plug in numbers and figure out. Like you plug in 5. If you plug in 5, you'll notice it's up here. So it has to look like that. Uh, if you plug in negative 10, you'll notice the y value is up here. So you know it has to look like that. OK, so what is the interval of definition? Ah, Well, we talked about this before in a previous video. Uh, the, the domain here would be negative infinity to negative 1, negative 1 to 1, 1 to infinity with union symbols between them. We would exclude negative 1 and 1. But an interval can't have that, right? Interval um, cannot have gaps. So the answer is going to be, in this case, negative 1 to 1 right here. And the reason that that's the answer is because that is where the point is, right? The graph passes through 0, negative 1. So we want to pick this. So this here, this blue graph that I'm drawing, that's the graph of the solution. Right? And so where is that defined? On negative 1 to 1. Let's do another example. So if it had been like over here or something, if the point had been here, then we would have picked 1 to infinity. Check this one out. Let's say it passes through 2, 1 third. So solution. So same thing. Your, your x is 2 and your y is 1 third. So you get 1 third equals 1 over 2 squared plus c. Okay. Plugging it into our, our function. And so we get 1 third equals 1 over 4 plus c. 
then we can cross multiply. So we get, so this goes here and this goes here. So we get four plus C equals three, subtract four. So we get C equals negative one, hurrah. So we get exactly the same thing, it's totally rigged. So we already have the graph. And in this case, I'll, I'll, re, I'll redraw the, well, I'll just use this graph. Here's two, one, here's two, one third. Right, there's two, one third. So this time we use this piece here, this purple piece. So now the interval of definition would be one to infinity. So you have to pick uh, the interval from where the point is. In the, in the first example, it was here. So we picked negative one to one. In the second example, it was here. So we picked one to infinity. If it had been over here on the left, we would pick negative infinity to negative one. Let's do one more, one more really, really tricky one. What if we're told it passes through uh, five comma zero? Then again, that's just like before, we do the same thing. This is our x, this is our y. So we get zero equals one over uh, five squared plus c. So zero is equal to one over 25 plus c. Then multiply by 25 plus c. So you get, uh, right, you would, you, would, you would put that here like this, and do that here like this. And then what happens is these cancel, so you get zero equals one. So there is no solution, right? There is no C. So does that mean there is no answer? No, no it does not. The question is to find the solution that passes through the point. So I'm gonna rewrite the DE here. The DE was Y prime plus two X Y squared. That was our original question. And our one parameter family was one over X squared plus C. We tried to find the solution that passed through this point, and we got something ridiculous. So what is the solution? Well, now we have to think. Is there another solution to this differential equation, right? There is, y equals zero. Because if you let y equal to zero, then y prime is also zero. And you can check that this indeed does satisfy the differential equation. Plugging it in, you get zero plus two x, zero squared. So zero plus zero is zero, so it checks. So y equals zero is a solution. So the answer is y equals zero. That is a solution, and it does indeed pass through five comma zero, why? Well, if you graph it, y equals zero is a horizontal line, and there is five comma zero. So it certainly passes through five comma zero. So y equals zero is a solution to this differential equation, and it does pass through five comma zero. So is it, it is the answer to this question. What about the interval of definition? Well, this thing is defined everywhere. So it would just be negative infinity to infinity. Hope that made sense.